going to do an experiment about air pressure. What is pressure? Pressure is the force applied on a unit area. Now let's do the experiment. For the experiment, what you will need is two cans, two different colored food coloring, two dishes with cold water, a spoon, a tong, and a kitchen glove. Be, please have a safety glasses for your safety. Look, my safety glasses could light up. Is it cool? Okay, so first step is you got to heat one can. Put your food coloring in your dishes with cold water. My parents are going to heat a can for my safety. Let's wait and observe what happens to the red water and the blue water. Whoa! The blue water shrinks down, but the red water just stays at the same level. Where did the blue water go? Do you think it's magic? No, it's science. Where the blue water went in the the blue water went in the can. How that happened when we heated the can, the air in the can came hot, so it expanded and the can could not hold all the air, so some air leave the can. But when we dip the can in the cold water, the air in the can can cooler and cooler and cold air needs less space and the air in there can cold so there was so the air needs less space and the water went in the can to fill up the space in the can. Whoa! You can see that all the blue water went in the can and no water went in the can we did not heat because the can we did not heat was cold and the temperature was cold. I hope you learned about air pressure and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. Today, we are going to do an experiment about hot air. For the experiment, what you will need is a plain tr aluminum tray which is for the control experiment and the tray which is into these fins you got fins you got to twist them a little and then you need some candles for each tray so first you got to light the candles under each tray And please have an adult light the candles for your safe supervision when you are doing this experiment. So we lit, lit up the candles, but you can see that the one we cut into the fins and twisted it kind of, it spins when we on the candles, but the one we did not cut, it does not spin. Why this spins? Because the hot air the hot air comes from the fire and it expands so there's less dense, less dense, so it expands, then it pushes, pushes and goes through these holes and then comes out making it spin. Why this does not spin, the hot air expands, it, there's less dense, so all hot air which is coming from the fire pushes equally in each side of the aluminium tray and there's no fins like this that's why it does not spin that is how a, a windmill works its fins are a little curved like this these fins so the air goes in and the air goes and then pushes on it making it spin this is also the way hot air balloons fly. So when we put the fire, the air in the balloon gets hot and it gets less denser and it gets lighter and flies up into the air. Now we did an experiment about hot air. Thank
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone. Today we came with another hot air experiment. Please have an adult next to you when you are doing this experiment. We have an empty bottle and we're going to put it in hot water and cold water and see what happens. We put a balloon on top of it so you could see what happens when you put in the hot water and what happens when you put in the cold water. First, we're going to put in the hot water. My parents poured the hot water for my safety. So first, put it in the hot water. You could see that the balloon was when we put it in there it was getting with some air when we put it in there because hot air rises warm air rises heat rises and when there was some air in the water in the bottle before we put it in the hot water and when we put it in the hot water all the air came into hot air and the molecules in the water in the air came hot and hot and the air in there the molecules in the air were, were moving fast and when they move fast they need more space so the bottle cannot hold all the hot air that was in there so it went out and went in the in the balloon. Now we're gonna put it in the cold dish and you'll see what happens. So we're gonna put it in the cold water and you can see almost right away the balloon did not get was not with air because cold air needs less space. The molecules in the air came together together so they do not need a lot of space cold air does not need a lot of space so there was a lot of space so the balloon did not get with air and now let's put it back in the hot water you could see again that the balloon comes with air same to hot air balloon so when we put the fire in the hot air balloon, the, there was already air in the balloon, in the hot air balloon. And when it was ju just some air, and then when we put the hot, the when we put on the fire, the the balloon got, got with hot air. All the molecules in, in the air in the balloon were moving fast. They need a lot of space and made the whole air balloon, even the balloon, be lighter, less denser than the, than the air all around it, so it could fly up into the air. Now we learn something that cold air sinks and hot air rises up, it expands, it needs more space, but cold air does not need a lot of space. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye! Hello everyone. Today we're going to do another science experiment about hot air. Please have an adult next to you when you are doing this experiment for your safety. For the experiment, what you will need is an aluminum foil a wooden skewer, a stand, and candles. First, get your stand and skewer and make the skewer be straight on the stand like this. Then get your aluminium foil and put it on top of your skewer. Put it on top of your skewer and then put your candles like this. Then you got to light your candles. My parents lighted the candle for my safety. Whoa! The, the aluminium foil is spinning. Why the aluminium foil is spinning is when my parents 
lighted the candles, hot air needs more space, so it expands, and as it expands, it hits the sides of the aluminium foil, and that makes the aluminium foil spin. So why it spins? Because well, hot air expands, and when it expands, it, it makes the air around it warmer, so the density is low, so it pushes up onto the aluminium foil, making it spin. Now we know why the aluminium foil rotates. And why we use aluminium is because when when it when aluminium touches fire, it won't even burn. So so that's why we use aluminium. Now we did a fun experiment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a can crush experiment. Please open a door next to you when you are doing this experiment for your safety. Ask an adult to help you heat the cans. Please ask an adult dip the cans in the water. Bye.